Next question from the mic in the rear section of the gents, mic 3. Yes, brother. Hello. Good evening. I am Dr. Matthew and I am also involved with uh, creation.com which is part of Creation Ministries International. Being a medical doctor, I came here because I was very much interested in peace. And as you mentioned, peace is both internal and external. Now, personally, when I and millions of other people have found after being convicted of our sin and repenting of it that and having accepted and believed that Jesus Christ, the sinless man, paid the full pr uh, price for my sins, he took my shame and guilt on the cross and died for me, because of which I have peace and that peace is something which passes understanding. I want to know, would you like to take away that peace which I have, which is a peace which passes understanding and can you answer that? Thank you. Brother asked a very good question. He is Dr. Matthew. He will, he's got a website and organization called Creation. He said that he found peace. He came here to attain peace. He said he got peace in, in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, who died for his sins on the cross. He died for his sins on the cross. He is asking me that would I like to take away your peace? Brother, I would never like to take away your peace. I would like to take away your false peace. Your false peace and make you get the true peace. Because Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We have to follow the teachings. I love Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. I respect him and I revere him. I want to know that do you also love Jesus Christ or not? I am asking you. Yes. Do you agree? Yeah. Do you believe that Jesus is God? Yes. Yes, brother. Now, either you get true peace or I will come to your peace. Correct? Yes. If yours is true peace, I will leave me my peace and I will join you. Yes. Now, you told me Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is God. I challenge you to point out a single verse in the Bible, a single unequivocal verse from the Bible, a single unambiguous verse in which Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me and I am ready to accept Christianity. You said Jesus is God. As far as Muslims are concerned, Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of Almighty God. We believe that he was the Messiah, translated Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many, which many modern day Christians do not believe. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. The Muslims and the Christians are going together. But the parting of ways is, as you said, that most of the Christians, they believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, claimed divinity. There is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me. If you can point out, I am ready to accept Christianity. So if he has not said that, why do you believe he is God? And where did Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said that he died on the cross for your sin? That is the teaching of Paul. Are you following Paul or are you following Jesus Christ, peace be upon him? Nowhere in the Bible. So my question is, when Jesus Christ never said he was God, why are you believing him? If you love him, you have to respect him. He said, when he was asked, which is the first of the commandment? It's mentioned in the Gospel of Mark. Chapter number 12, verse number 29. He said, Shema Israelo, Adnan Haidma and Daikhad, that your Israel, the God, our Lord, is one God. He repeated verbatim what was said by Moses earlier. Peace be upon him. So, what I am asking you, if you know the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. It is, if you say Christian is a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, it is mentioned in the book of Ephesians, chapter number 5, verse number 18, that do not be drunk with wine. It's mentioned in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 20, verse number 1, that wine is a mocker. Whoever deceives has it. We Muslims, we don't have alcohol, but many of the Christians have alcohol. Furthermore, 
We Muslims don't have pork. It's mentioned in the Bible, in the book of Leviticus, chapter number 11, verse number 7 and 8. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 14, verse number 8. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 65, verse number 2 to 5. That you should not have pork. We Muslims don't have pork, but Christians have pork, most of them. So, Furthermore, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was circumcised on the eighth day, according to, according to Gospel of Luke. We Muslims are circumcised, most of the Christians are not. If Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, I'm proud to say we Muslims are more Christian than the Christian themselves. So okay. where do you, you, you follow the teachings of Jesus Christ and you say that you worship him? So brother, point out a single verse in the Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said unequivocally that I am God or worship me. Dr. Zakir Naik. Yes, brother. My question was, on peace, and I have that peace. I don't have to memorize memory persons to prove or disagree with you. What I am sharing is that the peace which I have, because of the belief, because we are all sinners, and we need a sacrifice to pay for our sins. It is not by our works that we are saved, Correct. but by believing in faith that Jesus Christ has paid the price for my sins. Fine, so you agree that Jesus Christ has paid for the sins of all humanity. Do you agree yes. with that? Yes. Okay. All yes. who believe in him. Okay, fine. So suppose a Christian comes, like you, who believes in Jesus Christ and he rapes your wife. Will he go to heaven or hell? Pardon? If a Christian hmm. comes and rapes your wife, he believes Jesus Christ died for a sin. So whatever sin he does, it is paid for it. So if no. Jesus Christ had died for a sin, it will give permission for all the Christian to rape the woman. Never, never. Why never? You said because if a person you, you believes, told, you told, if a, if you, a person, whether you told your work will not take you to heaven, it is your belief. So if you believe Jesus Christ died for your sin, and if you commit rape, if you rob, if you oppress other people, will you go to heaven? He is not a Christian. If he does that, simple. But he believes in Jesus Christ. There are many no. Christians who I know. That you. means it's a wrong belief. 